June the 1st, 1665. Plague has come to London. Houses are marked. May God have mercy on their souls. June the 15th. My school has become a sanctuary from this dark, unholy pestilence. The plague doctor has been sighted. We are afflicted. The boys are succumbing. I pray for our preservation. Boys! Boys! People are turning to Satan, to the dark arts. Boys! Boys! They believe the Lord has forsaken them. My God! I must congratulate you, gentlemen, for making it this far. The school's cadet training scheme allows students to experience the basic level of training, as well as an understanding of the principles of the British Armed Forces. And your continued commitment to the CTS, whilst maintaining Dalton's high academic standards, has been exemplary. Sorry, sir. Congratulations on Cambridge, we see. English at Selwyn will set you up for any number of careers. Your parents must be very proud to attain the gold star of honor, the highest distinction the CTS has to offer. Your final task is an overnight patrol of the school grounds. Conduct yourself with the thoroughness expected of troops in the field. Imagine the school is a base, could be Afghanistan, or Cyprus, or even Sierra Leone. Same rules apply. Sounds great, sir. As ever, you'll be joined by your fellow cadets from Norfield Collegiate for Girls. I must remind you, there is to be no damage to the school grounds, nor do I expect you to indulge in any prohibited activities. Surprisingly, there was no adult available to remain on site with you tonight, so I will have to be your supervising assessor. Any questions? In that case, meet me at the Great Hall at 1800 hours for further instructions. Back to class, gents. Getting to Cambridge and you think you're above the law around here, eh, Rish? Still a bit jealous, Danny boy. Can you get out, Aki, mate? Oh, come on, head boy, we're all human. Sorry, sir. Um, could I have a word with you, Dr. Carmichael? Do you have a final lesson? If I may, sir, it'll be quick. Get out of here. Shane, what are you doing? Just one last wreck, you mate. Chill. We've got it all planned. Just get back in the car, man. 1659. That's when this school was founded. Did you know that, Jazz? Do you know that intellectuals, lawyers, politicians, the elite? <laughs> Fox. Rick. 
I said, chill, mate. After tonight, you'll be able to afford a car like one of them parked outside that school. Will you stop taking the piss out of my car? I'd love to see you walking 20 miles to the next town. True enough. So. So, yes, I think there's a great starting point when thinking about supernaturalism in the works of Walter de Lamar. But is that really all you wanted to talk to me about, Rishi? I feel stupid asking you about this, sir, but I've done the research. You do know that tonight is the same the night... The stories, rumours, in fact, are utter nonsense, Mr. Patel. But, sir, I really There was a that... tragedy. A black mark in the otherwise proud history of the school. A tragedy which, thankfully, has never been repeated. No, I'll hear no more of it. Yes, sir. Sorry. Just focus on enjoying your success with your parents. I'll see you later this evening. Yeah. Thanks. Mom going off at me after an econ coursework all night is the last thing I needed. Hey, so what have you heard about Daniel Gordon and his girlfriend? Jennifer, right? You mean Jess? I think the whole of the county knows they broke up last week. So tonight could be your big night, Verity. Oi, I'm not gonna be some rebound. He's not technically properly officially single yet. Since when have they had to be technically properly single for you, V? <laughs> I can't believe we're missing Sam Lehman's house party for this. It's the end of time, for fuck's sake. Who gets dressed up at school, you freak? Verity, calm down. Don't forget <sighs> this is for our future. <sighs> Bullshit. The parents are still convinced CTS will be a clinch on my uni application, as if. Just one more night, V. I'm sure you'll live. Whatever. <sighs> Where's Mina? Let's get this shit show on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Emily. Hockey training, everyone. Hilarious. Come on, now we're gonna get stuck in the rush hour. What has happened to my aim today? All right, well, I guess we can call it today there. You know, I haven't been myself recently because of Oxford. Yes, but I didn't mean to... Okay, I understand. Well, listen, I still really care about you. Oh, Jess, come on, don't be like this. Actually, you prick, I was on the phone. Oh, shit, sorry, bro, I didn't realise. Well, what did you think I was doing? I don't know, whacking one off. Hey, remember when we caught you behind the art building that time? Oh, well, sorry, Aki, I was talking to Jess. Get into your camo, you scruffy git. Hey, oh, Daniel. Shit. Verity. There you go. Uh, I'm sorry to hear about you and what's the name. Uh, it's all right. Bye, Matthew. Smooth. 
Rishi, I heard the good news. What happened to your Oxford offer, Daniel? Oh, it, uh, it never came. Hashtag awkward. Hashtag tragedy. Hey, you just made it to the interview stage. That's no achievement in itself. Welcome, cadets. Very good. Aki? Nina? Sorry, sir, I didn't have time to change after rugby training. I was detained to hockey practice, sir. Punctuality, cadets. I must say, I am rather thrilled. It's been a while since I wore the old camo. So, first things first. Boys, you will be stationed in the IT labs. And girls, you will be in the music recital hall just down the corridor from them. Once you've settled into your barracks for the evening, you will receive further instructions. Any final questions? Yes, Miss Wicks. Why tonight, sir? Time's over. Well, an email was sent round. As very few of you check your school emails, only one suggestion for tonight was received. Anything else? Oh, and before I forget, mobile phones. Usual CTS regulations apply. No signals in or out, except by the walkie-talkies. Stay alert. This is an army base. And I might throw in a few surprises throughout the night. Oh, Ray, this is going to be the caretakers for the night. God, you couldn't moan for England, V. Yeah, I bet she could. Ouch! Behave. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, wait, Aki. Mm. We should go grab a quick shower now and get ready. Grim. All right, get a move on. Chill out, Daniel. Look, we were supposed to be ready when we met Carmichael. This is an assessed exercise for the gold star. OK, OK. What's everyone's problem today? I'll be quick. I might not be. You know, longest in the shower and all that. Oh. Right, come on, Meanie. Let's get soapy. So I assume you were going to this end of term parties tonight? Weren't we all invited? Must have got lost in the pace. <sighs> Meany, no one invites you anymore because they know you won't come. <laughs> what? It's true. Too busy at the temple. Hey, the temple means a lot to me. Temple means a lot to your family. Please, Aki. My faith is an important part of my life. Whether I like it or not, it teaches me what's right. And it makes up for you lot teaching me what's wrong. Meany, I'm sure Ganesh would forgive you for living a little. It's Lakshmi, moron.
There. Scared it. That scared me. Blueprint says the archive is a detached building just east of the main building. It's around 200 metres from where we are now. Here on the left. No, you prick. It's just south of the quads. It's on the right-hand side. How the fuck did you get into the army if you can't read maps? Bomb squad. I got driven around. <laughs> You're in the bomb squad? Only a year. Showed my nerves. I couldn't hack it. Honourable discharge. That explains a lot. Well, I was a Marine. Dishonorable discharge. They should have served with you, soldier. Oh, your headmaster has way too much time on his hands. Sweet! Uh, don't forget protocol. Remember to check the unloaded first. So, we've got to patrol the perimeter of the school, the archive, the cricket pavilion, the science block, and the great hall. And don't forget Carmichael's little surprises. <laughs> well, that sorts itself. We'll go in pairs. And then do the last one as a big group. So challenging. Hmm. <laughs> OK, any volunteers to go first? Well, I'm going to get mine done so I can go to the music room and crash. Who wants to go in? <laughs> Popular. <laughs> OK, Sophie and the mute. So on it. What do we get? Uh, the cricket pavilion. Take a rifle, a walkie, a torch. You'll have to fill out to report for when you get back. All clear? Her phone got confiscated. Verity was petrified by them. Mr. Bhatia would see her half naked selfies. It was hilarious. You sure you can handle the door alarms? No stress. Most old buildings aren't even fully alarmed. They only put in the heavy duty shit when they want to protect safes and the like. Look, I reckon the archive will have a couple of big doors that will lead us to another door that's fully alarmed. That's the one that's going to take me some time. Fuck. I thought there was no one on site after hours. You must see until I got one. Term's finished. The school's meant to be empty. Why are they wearing cameras? I'm guessing CTS. Toy soldiers, we call them. Well, we'll give it a while, see what they do. Worst comes to worst, it'll be just like Desert Storm. Don't worry, Jazzy. No one needs to die tonight. Come on, Rish, what's up? You're set for life, you should be buzzing. It's really hard to get excited about anything when your parents are splitting up, Sophie. Oh, I'm so sorry. You want to know, it's just hard to get a serious word in with this lot, you know? What do you mean? I mean that OK, you know my family aren't like any of yours. Coming to Dalton has always been a struggle for us. I've had to work extra shifts with Mum. I've had to study till 3 a.m. I've had to do everything I needed to do. Cambridge was that end goal, that achievement that was going to make it all worthwhile. Oh, maybe not. Look, Rish, your parents love you. And make no mistake, they're so proud of you. You always have a bond with them. Money doesn't matter. Easy for you to say. Trust me. It means nothing when you're miles away from home and all you want is a hug from your parents. And you're left wondering why they don't want to see you growing up. You can't blame yourself, Rich. I know it can be hard sometimes when people take their privilege for granted. We may act like dickheads at times, but we're your friends. 
Ryan Gosling, hands down, the best looking human being on the planet. No, no, no. Gotta call bullshit on that. Channing Tatum? All day, every day. How come you could go and never go for a real man like Jason State? Guys, look, if his name ain't Jamie Foxx, don't come knocking with this bullshit. Daniel looks a little like Ryan Gosling, don't you think? <laughs> Ryan Gosling had herpes. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Okay, Aki, I think it's time for your patrol. Jesus, Danny, why have you always got a stick up your ass? I just like to get things done. Wow, well, with that attitude, no wonder Jess dumped you. So you can leave the science block. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, but don't forget to take your walkies, a torch. Torches, and... rifles, report cards. Got it, sir. Okay, you guys head off. We'll uh, we'll head back to base. Huh? Sure, why not? Uh, where's my salute? Has your school ever been refurbished? Oh, yeah. In 1783. <laughs> I'm glad we're out of that classroom. Verity is just gagging for Daniel to slip her one. Really? So we're really going out in a blaze of glory for the CTS Gold Star, eh? Mm. No assault courses or weapon assembly time trials. Checking empty classrooms. School prestige. That's all CTS is. Typical Dalton politics. Mm. Hasn't taught us about anything real. Since when was school supposed to do that? Hey, my brother's here. Of course he is. Jacques Dunon was a Dalton legend. His batting average was like 75.64, something like that. Mm, well done, bro. <laughs> OK, you check the away dress room. I'll do home. You OK with that? Yeah, sure. No problem. I think I preferred it when you weren't talking. I saw someone. I swear on my life. Your brother got to you with his Dalton ghost stories, didn't he? He never told me any stories. He didn't? Oh, fuck. What is it? Oh, it looks like we've got another two for company. Jonesy's party last week was outrageous, man. Everyone was smashed. Even you could have hooked up with someone. Shame you had a uh, Diwali. Ha ha. It was Holly, actually. My mistake. Seriously, though, you could be quite cute, you know? All dolled up. Oh, you flatter me, Aki. Ladies first.
So have you applied to any other universities? Uh, no. How you were going to do this subject at uni, I will never know. My parents have it all planned out for me. Get cosy at a big pharma company, make a fortune, marry an equally rich Indian guy, have a bunch of kids and retire at 35. Bingo. Aki, it's Verity. How long are you going to be? Over? Aki, it's Verity. How long? Verity, could you repeat that? Over. Verity? Aki, what's happening? It won't open. Someone definitely screamed at us. Is it broken? Yeah. So what are we gonna do? We need to go find the others. Come on. Oh. Oh, what's wrong? Just get me back to base. What? Let's just go back. We should do these patrols in a big group. Aki? Aki, over. Uh, yes, sir. Over. What's the commotion? The walkies are not for socialising. Over. We weren't socialising, sir. Over. Don't argue with me, soldier. I will fail you if you abuse the airways again. Understood? Over. Affirmative. Over. Good. Over and out. Sick of Dalton telling me what to do. Where are you going? Up. I'll, I'll meet you back at the base. Don't just leave. Aki! There must be 20, 30 people here. We need to cut and run, man. Right, listen. We're getting into that archive tonight, do you understand? I swear, Jazz, if you fuck my shit up tonight, you're gonna spend the rest of your life looking over your shoulder waiting for a bullet. <laughs> the plan don't change. I'm out. Okay, I'm in, I'm in. Right, work your magic. Mm.
So you thought you saw ghosts in the cricket pavilion? I didn't put you down as a superstitious type, so... It was just the cricket equipment messing with us, I'm sure. Oh, it speaks. I saw someone. His neck. It looked like it'd been hanged. Hanged? We did the full patrol, don't worry. We were walking down the wrist, left it in the pavilion. Wait, what? Make that two walkies. Look, Sophie and me, is there anything we can do? I'm fine. Where's Mina? Right here. Just about. What was going on over there? I had a run in with some dodgy lighting and a very stiff door. <laughs> stiff what? Where's Zaki? He just stormed off. Left me. Great. No man left behind. Too fucking easy. How long will it take you to get that open? It's a bit tricky. I'm going to have to bypass the security How system. How long? I, I don't know. 40 minutes? You got 20. Guys, I think I might be able to explain what Sophie saw. Something that happened at Dalton a long, long time ago. Really, Rishi? Is it a ghost story? Please tell me it's a ghost story. Come on. In 1665. Wait, wait, wait. And go. In 1665, only a few years after Dalton was founded, the Great Plague of London was at its height. Schools in the middle of nowhere like this one were quarantined. But that wasn't enough. Yes, the plague did hit the school and the boys did begin to die. By the dozens. Ooh. But one night, something else came to Dalton. As dawn broke, the school's founder, Richard Greystone, found four of his brightest scholars dead. My God! They had been murdered. Murdered according to the traditional four elements. Fire, water, earth and air. One was burned alive. One buried. One drowned. And one hanged. So, the legend everyone uses to scare the Year Nines is that the spirits of those four boys still walk the corridors of Dalton, seeking revenge. Because they never caught the person responsible for their deaths. And that happened on this very night, three and a half centuries ago. What a crock of shit. You and Sophie are just trying to wind us up. I did see something in that pavilion. What did you see? Did Richie drop his trousers? Yeah, some man you are. The demon nerd could have got me. Ah, oh, total bullshit. You're a selfish dick for deserting me, Naki. You walk around like the dog's bollocks for absolutely no reason at all. You're going to be laughing like this next year when you're not speaking at university. Uh, what are you doing? It's fine. I'd be pissed off if I'd just been dumped. Sorry, dumped and rejected from Oxford. Leave it, Daniel. Be the bigger man. <laughs> What's in the bag, Ak? Well, I was saving this for Lehman's party, but seeing as this is our last CTS adventure, I figured we should have a party. Of our own. <laughs> you absolute hero. What the hell, Aki? Oh, someone's found their voice. No, are you on crack? Ooh. Carmichael will fail us all. Oh, a few drinks won't hurt, guys. No one will find out. Sophie. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm with them. What? Considering the way the night has started, I think we all need to sit down and have some fun together. Your parents want to find out, Mimi. Rish?
32 grand a year to send your kid here. I was earning less than that protecting the country. How much longer, Twitchy? Don't pressure me, Shane. Sure, guys. Come on. Aki, is this your idea? Guys? Sleep. Very funny. Hey, I like your um. Piss break. Yeah, I need to go too. You mind if you think I'm gonna hold your hand while you go? Did I ask? So yeah, I need to watch this artwork. Ladies first. I really don't blame my parents for not letting me go to parties. Can't handle this. Darling, I've seen you shatter us old course records. Those were easy. Let's do one now. Aki? Aki, come on now. Aki? 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 What the fuck was that? I don't know. Let's get back to work. <laughs> oh, annoying. Who was the screaming? All right, guys, come on. Show's over. How you guys were made it this far in cadets, I will never know. You are such pussies. Is everything okay, guys? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go patrol the archive. Is that a problem? Do you guys have a walkie? Take Aggies. No. No point. That's the last one we have. All right, then. Have fun, guys. I'll meet you guys back in there. I'm just gonna go wash my hands. Classy. Uh, don't forget to wash yours too, Danny boy. You fucking beauty. <laughs> Take an alarm system. Let's come up. Yeah, I thought we'd 
Take the scenic route to the archive. That's what you like. Come on, Daniel, cheer up. You're one of the most brilliant people I know. And third generation of Dalton head boy. Yeah, I managed to keep that tradition going. It's just, just a shame about the Oxford one. Oh, you're too self-critical. This whole evening you've been beating yourself up. Everyone can see it. You, know, you don't have to keep up these family traditions to be a success in life. You've got talent on your side. Thanks, Freddy. Guess what? My dad didn't allow me to even apply to drama school. The law for me, something I have no passion for. Freeze. Stand down. What? I'm afraid you're gonna have to stand down, mate. Who are you? Where are Daniel and Verity? Not a fucking word. Oh, it sounds like you aren't very good at taking your own advice. Yeah, well, I guess in families like ours, it's never about us. It's about what our parents want. We're talking about me too much. Let's hear more about your acting. Yeah, you're right. We are talking too much. You're one of Carmichael's surprises, aren't you? Did he tell you to tie me up? You're really here to rob the archive? Just a few artifacts. That's all you really need from in there. How many of you little shits are there? I'm asking you a question. Oh, fuck's sake. I like being a fucking big man, don't you? So do I include the dead fellow or not? You don't really believe these ghost stories, do you, Resh? There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than you have even dreamed of. Huh? Gets drunk and starts quitting Shakespeare. <laughs> Unbelievable. Do you think it was a good idea to let Daniel and Verity go off alone? No. No, it wasn't. I'm worried about Aggie. Maybe he went to keep Daniel and Verity company. I don't even think V's quite wild enough for that. Sophie, seriously. I'm worried. <laughs> I thought you private school wankers were good with orders. <laughs> Aren't things so much more simple when you cooperate?
last door, I'll shoot you. Are you deaf? Got to be one of Carmichael's surprises. Code Red simulation. And the gunshots? It could just be Aki clowning around at the shooting range. I don't like this. Let's go find Carmichael. We'll get the others on the way. Jazz? Jazz, come in. I'm going to try and get the lights working. What happened to the lights? Well, it must be Aki walking about. Let's go check it out. What about the rest of the patrol? Keep it together, Shane. Keep it together. Guys, we should head to the Great Hall if that was the last patrol. Carmichael first, OK? Yeah. Hang on a sec. Come on, Mina. There's no one. Mina! Ah! Mina! 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 And our friend is trapped in there with something. Shut the fuck up and get down. Get down, Rishi. Who could have fired a gunshot? It's an intruder. He's got a gun. What, a real one? Right, next one's in your eye. I don't know what you want, but our friend was pulled into that room. Yeah, he had a brown band the first time. Look. No one needs to be harmed, but 
You're coming with me to the archive. And if you try to escape, I'm gonna shoot you. I didn't do escape. There's plenty more like me dotted around the perimeter of the school. All highly trained snipers that will take you out at a second's notice, are we clear? Right, stay here. If anything happens, run in the high, but stay in the school. He says you'll get sniped if you try and escape. Wherever you go, Daniel. I just thought it help our friend. It's not a fucking negotiation. You're coming with me. Okay. You ignore that, and eyes on me. You understand? Yes. You start listening to me, you two, yeah? It's in the game, okay? You're gonna get hurt. There's one from here. Gates? Milton? Marlowe? Oh! A Shakespeare first folio? these documents are first edition. No wonder you guys are after them. I'm talking to a dead guy. Bad. Could have done with more nurses like you when I was a Marine. I haven't forgotten about Brown Bay, you know. It's wasted. We'll just go somewhere and pass out. That's not too tight, is it? <clears throat> I'll be fine. She's still out. She's dead weight, then. No man left behind. Even you can respect that. Fine. 
but you'll just have to come along for the ride then. Take me to the archive, now. So how did you get free? I always keep it in my boot. I've only used it to peel apples till now. Where are the others? That guy has them hostage. People are turning to Satan, to the dark arts. I too despair. Why hast thou forsaken us, Lord? My brightest boys lie dead by the most foul of means. But with their passing, so the school seems to have been cleansed. We are no more afflicted by this black pestilence. Dotum has been saved from the plague. But good cannot exist without evil. Dr. Carmichael? What if those boys perished by their own hand? Perhaps this is a broken deal. Sir? The ultimate sacrifice for their peers, their souls forever indebted. Sir? Indebted to Satan. After the deaths, Dalton became a safe haven from the plague. Ritual suicide. To Satan. You okay? I'll live. Man up, soldier. Shoulders nothing. Could have got you much further south. <laughs> now that shit hurts. Now don't worry, love. Luckily they just missed my power tools. <clears throat> so what are you lot doing here tonight? An assessment. No? Huh? Speak up, soldier. An assessment. And stop calling me soldier. We're only doing this to get into uni. Daniel! <laughs> Sounds about right. Toy soldiers. Your school has a fucking chapel. Shouldn't swear in the house of God. <clears throat> what was that? What was what? Stupid kids.
fucking joke. You're really fucking my shit up. Please, please don't. We have nowhere to go. We have no phones. Power's gone. Your men have got us surrounded. Please. Look, we aren't far from the archive. You'll be out in ten minutes. Max. Stay calm. Oh my god, my god. Very, very deep. Look in my eyes. Right? There's an explanation for this. Everything will be all right. Someone's spiked us or something. It's, it's making us. Quicker. <laughs> This shit gets more confusing. Petrol. Burn. Shovel. Berry. Rope. Kinky. Sorry. Bricks. To weigh someone down in water. Aki, I've had enough of this. You got your car, right? Horror Movie 101, never investigate. I need to investigate. Jesus Christ! Poor kid. I get down the end of the room. Sit down the end of the room now, on your knees! Kids like you have nightmares about breathing the same air as someone like me. I can leave here with you two alive or dead. But it doesn't matter to me because I'm going far, far away. Please. Please don't. You're not so brave now, are you, sweetheart? Time to get what I came for.
Meaning you could have got shot out there. Shot? By who? I didn't see anyone. What happened in that room? I just don't remember. I was being tossed around like a rugby ball. <laughs> Tougher than you look. Good to have you back. You must have got lucky. This maniac has the school surrounded. We'll be sitting ducks to when his sniper work is sold. Let's head towards the Great Hall. Maybe some of the others have gone there. And then what? Oh, I haven't thought that far ahead yet. Come on, I know a shortcut. It's really hurting. I need to go to hospital. For fuck's sake, you pussy. Oh, cringe. Oh, God. God. You really are a pain in the ass. Come on. Come on. Guys? We wish it. Jesus. Oh, God. oh, my God. Is she dead? Huh? No, just a winger. Oh. Oh. Still got one good fit. Let's get Carmichael. It's a bit late for that. Did that guy kill him? No, I don't think it was the intruder. We saw something. Something else. Oh, Richie! Oh. I'm never drinking again. Great hall? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but you've got what you wanted. Now just leave us alone. What are your names? Sophie, right? What does it matter? Daniel. His name is Daniel. Well, say ciao to the others on my behalf. Hey, don't look so glum. Think of this as the real assessment. Scary when you realize mummy and daddy's money can't protect you from everything, isn't it? And welcome to the real world. Anyway, cheers, kids. Have a nice life. I'm sure you will. End of term play. Are we on the stage? Yeah. Gently, Aggie. Gently. Oh, God, you know what, Mimi? Lay off the samosas, yeah? I've lifted rugby players lighter than you. Uh, do you want toi? Faustus gives to thee his soul. Dr. Faustus, my favorite. Was this the face that launched a thousand ships? Do we have any weapons? Great. To kill a squirrel. Oh, God, all right. Well, I'll see if I can find anything else to use in this building. I'll be right back. Promise.
You okay? You'll be back soon. How are you feeling, Meanie? Mm, head hurts a bit. Ankle screwed. Been better. I don't feel a bad bump or anything, but... Don't believe my eyes. The Fantastic Six, together again. And that psycho's gone. We can finally get out of here. What's that, Rishi? Richard Greystone's journal. We can pick the bones out of it later. Let's just get out of here. So what does it say? Does it bloody matter? Well... Greystone thinks that those boys performed a ritual suicide, according to the Four Elements, as part of a deal with Satan. In exchange for their eternal souls, Dulden was cleansed of the plague. But now they're doomed for it. So they were good guys? Good guys, bad guys, I don't give two shits. I'm heading for the car. Hey there, troops. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the performance. Stand down there, soldier. Fuck you. Now you know I wouldn't think twice about blowing that gobby mouth right off. Drop it. So I just need the keys to that little go-kart out there. I'm gonna count to three. It's not gonna be a four. One. Two. Three. Okay, okay, fine. Just give me a sec. The pockets in these uniforms are deep. Allow me. That makes us even. And that puts me one ahead. Daniel? Put it down, Daniel. Right. Call your men off. <laughs> you fucking idiots. Right. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. Come on. Give me a hand. Let's go. What happened to no man left behind? He isn't one of ours. Unfortunately, neither am I. Ah! 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 Stay where you are, Aki! What the fuck? I'm sorry, guys. I know it's very unbecoming of head boy, but if you don't stay in here, I'm going to shoot you. What's happening, Daniel? Really? The smartest kids in the country, and you still can't piece it together. Those four saints, they offered their souls to rid Dalton of the plague. Well, the Dark Lord taketh away, but he also giveth. So you made a deal of your own. God starts Rishi. Our generation, our world, we've become machine men fueled by greed. We are valued against each other. Valued on the way we look. On our bank statements, it's which university we go to. So, it's time to wipe the slate clean. 
and reunite our society through suffering just as it was three centuries ago. But for your souls, please shall return to Dalton and spread forth. The next great pandemic. Black magic? The plague, are you fucking insane? Black magic, witchcraft, call it what you like. I found a family out there for me. One that embraced me without prejudice. Not based on expectation, not like Dalton. We are legion. So you were the one who requested to have the patrol tonight? Well, it's nice to hear somebody was listening to Carmichael. God have mercy on his soul. You? Oh, no, I didn't kill Carmichael. Too. Sorry, Aki. She was an awful shag anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you, I swear. What about you? Your family? Your religion? It's all a lie. You don't mean to lie. You just don't know the truth. You will treat me like shit. Like I'm unworthy. Daniel never did that. He opened my eyes. What? It's fine to treat me like your friend when we're by ourselves, Aki, and then fuck off to parties while I had no one. I was alone. Just because I'm not as smart or popular as Sophie is, or as cool and hot as Verity is, well, was. He's using you. Can't you see that? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Relax, relax. You'll get your chance. You were attacked. No, no. <laughs> <coughs> the shrine in the attic. A preparation ceremony to call forth the Dark Lord. You're all marked now. Marked for sacrifice, an element each. Fire, water, earth, and air. How exciting. Carmichael. Collateral damage. You really shouldn't have left me alone in that science block. Tad them up. So, the final act will commence with the first sacrifice. Death by fire. It's only three of us, you prick. <coughs> no, four. Just about. And if he wasn't here, well, you wasted Verity. Guess who'd be the fourth sacrifice? He always did talk too much. So, who wants to burn? No, Daniel, Daniel, stop! Daniel, this is madness! Daniel, stop! 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 Stop! Daniel, please! Ah! Ah! I was like that. Hey, 
dickweed. I think you'll be needing these. The knife! More from the rugby captain. <laughs> I expected you to get into Oxford. Now, why have you gone and done that? Fuck you, Daniel. Ah! Ah! What a waste of a gifted mind. no man left behind. Never look back. <laughs> 